So, welcome to our fourth part of the Duran series. In this part, as I promised, we will talk about the science out of inner Chinese martial arts or Chinese inner martial arts or inner martial arts Chinese. So, because I am not a scientist and I don't feel comfortable to um, tell you about the science behind it, I ask my student Saba to do that. So, see you later. In the following, I will explain the force suspectors according to Chinese inner martial arts. I will start locally and go outward towards the whole body. In physics, not everything can be 100% correct because a model to describe a certain thing will have always an error. Please bear that in mind when listening to my explanations. According to Newton's third law, action is equal to reaction. Every force that is affecting a surface, that surface also generates a force that acts the same as the incoming force. A force is presented by an arrow that shows the direction of the acting force. If we have two forces that act at the same point, with different angles, they can be simplified to a resulting force. Also, the other way around, we can divide a force into two component forces. One acts in the vertical direction and the second acts in the horizontal direction. If you know F rest, F1 and F2 can be calculated. F2 equals uh, F rest times sinus alpha and F1 is equal to F rest times cosinus alpha. We see that the components are dependent of the angel, uh, angle of alpha. In the following example, we use a practice from our training. This is simplified in a 2D example. Of course, it has to be executed in 3D when applied. The purpose of this training is to respond to linear force by song. If the partner is applying force on one's chest, the pressing force is just meeting the reaction force. This is the starting position. Normally, you have two ways to solve the problem. You can either bend your torso forwards or backwards, but the force will stuck on the same line and you are not gaining any considerable benefit from it. We want a re reliable and less no noticeable solution. So what you try to do is just change the surface where the force is acting to get an advantage. We try to tilt the chest to create a specific angle so we can shift the incoming force. This will weaken the incoming force. So in this picture we see that the incoming linear force is now in an upward direction and the resulting force is in, a is in a downward direction. If you watch the component forces, we see that the horizontal forces are almost the same. The vertical forces appe appear the same, but the acting force is pressing upwards and the resulting force is, is pressing downwards. If we also throw in the gravitational force in, we see that the downward force has an advantage because it is reinforced by the gra gravity while the pressure force is not. This all happens locally, but we try to tilt the whole surface. So we try to expand the whole body at every single joint. Thank you. So please see all of those examples and methods we uh, you just heard about um, as little gists or insights into it. Actually, if you science it down, it gets very complicated because we have a lot of parts around moving and um, there's not just one, two, three forces. There are a lot of different angles and so on. So I hope you had a lot of fun with this. And if you did not have a lot of fun with that, um, wait for the fifth part. So thank you. P.S. In this video, we are not trying to suggest that all the generations of Chinese martial arts teachers had a clue of physics or math. We just try to explain an extremely complex process in a very simplified manner. Thank you.